Okay, so it's Sunday, September 15th, about 9.30ish in the morning. And I'm going to show you what we've got done since the last video. Got the engine painted up. Uh, I've got to do a little touching up here. So I painted the block first, then taped that off. Should have given it, given it more time to dry, but it tape pulled some of the paint off because I taped this off to paint the heads and the intake. But it, turned, it looks pretty good. I'll probably wait till I get it down in the car before I touch that up. Just spray a little bit of that blue, that forward blue on a board, good and wet, and take a brush, dip it in there, and touch it up. Do it like that. Maybe scuff that up first so it'll stick better. And we got the all the rocker arms and push rods on it, bolted on and adjusted. About 26,000 clearance cold. Actually, they call for, I think they call for 28 hot. So, when we get it running, we'll have to, and get the transmission full, we'll have to shut it off warm and readjust them. Plus, it's always a good idea, especially after a, a fresh startup, that when you've completely had one torn apart, to pull them valve covers off and check those valves. Make sure everything is working right so today we're gonna paint some headers I got these sanded down all of them were in pretty decent shape these are not the never the best looking headers even new I bought them from Christ restoration they're supposed to fit a stock chassis 64 Fairlane with a 429 or 460 but in order for them to work on a stock chassis I would have had to uh, had the engine sitting really far forward not very good very good for a drag car that's kind of the opposite of what you want to do which is one of the reasons i front clipped it and did the mustang 2 suspension long long time ago but there's two of them started to rot i made a little patch panel here welded it up ground it down and there was a crack right here where it's hard to get to the boat i need to remake these headers if i were to make some headers the proper way i could probably get a little horsepower out of them out of this thing but we're not going to do that now. They've worked for all these years. Car ran pretty good for what it is. So we'll use them for now until I get a chance to make them some headers the way I want. And hopefully out of stainless. I want to buy me a TIG welder and start doing some TIG welding. Because my old MIG welder, it gets the job done. But I just can't do a decent looking weld anymore. I've replaced the liner. Tried a small diameter wire. And check the wheels and everything and it just wants to hang in that liner every now and then. The only way you can keep it from hanging is if you have your your cable here with your uh, torch or your g trigger gun if you have it stretched out perfectly straight. Any slight bend and it, it wants to hang and you can't get a good steady smooth weld. But when we paint these headers I'm going to use Pour 20 which is made by Pour 15. It's good for up to 1400 degrees it's for exhaust, manifolds, headers, steam lines, and boilers. We're just going to brush it on. I bought this way back when I did the exhaust on the power stroke. And uh, we'll see how it holds up to the heat of this big block with headers. So, I'm going to find a place to mount the camera. I'm going to start hanging some stuff up, get some stuff out of my way first. And uh, do a little brushing of paint on. got them all hung up here cleaned off with some lacquer thinner and a clean rag I'm gonna do four at a time I plan on doing two maybe three coats and we'll see how much is left instead of I was gonna do one coat for all of them come back do the second and third coat if third coat is necessary but I'm not sure how long this can will last uh, being as I'm brushing on your waist less that way I guess but then again you don't use thinner so Maybe that just evens out, but we're going to do four of them, two, maybe three coats, and see if I got enough. That way, because I, I got to go online tonight and order some header bolts and gaskets for the engine, and I can go ahead and order some more of this stuff while I'm at it. It's cans. I bought this a long time ago. This was back when um, he was doing the exhaust on the power stroke, which, for those of you who watched all that, I haven't given up on it. It's just... I haven't touched it in two years now, but I am going to get it together one day. I just keep 
putting other stuff in front of it but since we have the F-150 now I got something to pull a trailer with and I guess that just really decreased my drive to get it done at the time I it was something I had to get done now it's something that I'll get done when I have time so anyway we're gonna steer this up start brushing some on I'll show you what it looks like after the first coat We've got that steered up pretty good, but I have to use all of this because usually this stuff really sets up hard. If it's anything like the chassis paint, it sets up really, really hard. And once you open the can, it's this stuff sets up like cement. It's hard to get the lid back off, and it's usually no good after that. That's why I usually buy small cans. You can buy it in big cans, but you better use it all. We'll do a little bit of painting while I'm holding the camera, but you're going to see brush streaks, but that will probably smooth out. Looks like one coat's covering it pretty good. So, yeah. And the good thing about brushing is you don't have to worry about overspray. Stuff like that. Oops. And we're, our light is shining in the door, and you can't really see what I'm doing very well. And that's what the first coat's going to look like. And that will hopefully smooth out. If it's anything like the chassis paint, it, you can brush that stuff on, and it smooths out really well. We'll see. Even if there are some brush marks, it looks better than they did, because they were rusty and dirty and nasty. there they are it's a brush finish as you would expect uh, try some different things on different ones here's the last one the brush marks are still pretty heavy on it it's still soft this stuff will stay soft for a couple of days and they claim it doesn't really cure until you put it on the car and start it up so I'm hoping that that will actually make it smooth out a little more I started with this one and I just brushed it on right out of the can no thinning and by the time I got to the last one it uh, it had smoothed out pretty good when I started to do the second coat I did the brush marks seemed heavier and I really wasn't liking what I'm seeing what I was seeing but it is still smoothing out and you could you could take your fingernail and actually cut into that it's still soft it's you can touch it you don't get nothing on it but it's still soft so Probably after a couple days it will smooth out some more. I may be able to scotch brite it or something. I don't know after it cures really well. Or maybe I'll just leave it like it is. But after I did that one, I did thin it. I had used like a quarter of the can, which is over here. Of course, it was down to about there. And they recommend their solvent, which I didn't have. I just used regular lacquer thinner to thin it out. Just the cheapest lacquer thinner you can get. The virgin lacquer thinner or economy lacquer thinner we used to call it virgin lacquer thinner and it seemed to uh get a little better i don't know actually i think i wish i hadn't offended it because the pipe that i applied the second coat to without any thinning really looks better than that but than the rest of them but we'll see after it cures and like i said these headers hopefully are temporary uh, I need to make some new ones out of stainless so they look a lot better than they did and that'll be all for this video and of course I did the collectors too so didn't make too much of a mess as far as spray wise I made a big mess on the floor Angel was trying to lay in the middle of it had to run her off but the next thing for me to do is clean the table off after I get something to eat get that transmission out up on the table and start tearing it down so thanks for watching